Alright, so in front of me I have a Jeopardy game uh, that serves as a review for tomorrow's science test as well as the content that will be covered in future tests in fifth grade. So students did this game today in class. It's supposed to prepare them for the information that will be asked for tomorrow in tomorrow's science test on different resources. So this game has three categories. We have vocabulary, science specific resources, as well as Florida's resources. And just in case you don't know anything about Jeopardy, Jeopardy asks a question and the answers are written in a question format. So with vocabulary, materials on earth we can use. It will say what are resources, but the answer will be resources. So resources are called, resources are materials on earth we can use. That is what it's saying. All right, so I'm going to continue going through all the questions and answers because some of the students will really want to review this back at home as well. So going on to 200, materials that are continually replaced and does not run out, those are called renewable resources. Important part about this is that it does not run out. Okay, so going on to vocabulary 300, we have resources found on Earth that people use. These are natural resources. Because they're found on Earth, they are not man-made. Okay, vocabulary 400, we have materials that cannot be replaced quickly enough to keep from running out. These are called non-renewable resources. They cannot be replaced quickly enough, meaning it won't come back within our lifetime. Vocabulary 500, the process of efficiently using only the resource, resources you need is called conservation or conserving or the process of to conserve. Okay, now going on to specific resources. These are the specific names or resources that they will be asked for on the test. So please pay attention to this as well. So specific resources, source of energy that formed from remains of things that lived millions of years ago. So key point about this is they came from things that lived millions of years ago. And there's not that many things that lived millions of years ago except dinosaurs. So dinosaurs, the things that we have remaining from dinosaurs are fossils. So once you hear this, you know that it's talking about fossils and we use fossil fuel for energy. Okay, so now on to 200. Solid natural resources that are typically found in soil but are still non-renewable. What are rocks? Okay, so the answer for this is rocks because they're talking about solids, uh, resources that are natural but still non-renewable. Rocks may be natural but they do not come within our lifetime. That is very important to know. A natural and renewable resource that surrounds the borders of Florida, and the answer is water. It's very important to know that water is both natural and renewable, and our whole state is basically surrounded by water. In 400, this is an important mineral that is part of fertilizer. Ding, 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 ding. Even though this seems like such a specific detail to know, this will be on the test as well as a test in fifth grade. So this is important information to know. The answer is phosphate. Fertilizer is made up of phosphate. This is a rock that contains metal. The answer is ore. Okay, now for Florida's resources, these are specifically resources found in Florida, so these questions will be related to the state. A natural resource in Florida that can be used to create and generate power, you can say sunlight or sun or solar energy. The test will have a very uh, specific answer that will be very easy to understand um, as long as you know it comes from the sun somehow. Okay, this is a natural resource and it generates power. That's how we know it is sun. Okay, uh, a natural resource found in Florida used to make computer chips. This answer is sand. Okay, sand also makes glass. A natural resource that is produced a lot in Florida and used daily for energy. So now we're not talking about just any resource used for energy. We're talking about a natural resource that is produced a lot in Florida and used daily for energy. And that is what is oil. 
This is a mineral produced in large amounts in the mines located in Florida. So now we're specifically looking at mines, okay? And the answer for this is phosphate. Phosphate has been uh, mentioned already twice. So remember, phosphate makes, fertil makes up fertilizer and it is produced in large amounts in the mines. And as for our last question, a natural resource that greatly contributes to our state's economy answer is what is limestone all right so hopefully this was helpful uh this review game was done in class this is just another way to study back at home okay bye good luck on the test tomorrow